What is up everybody and welcome back to the BBA bus where today we're picking up on the outhouse. It is hot 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 right now but we're gonna take you a couple weeks back to when my parents were here and they were helping out on some of the outhouse finish work. Without further ado, let's step back, pick it up there, and let's finish this outhouse. Thanks for watching. In the couple weeks that my parents were here working with me, we took on a lot of the trim on the shower side. We were salvaging stuff from all over the place on the property. We put a half lap in them and we put it up on the inside of the shower. Uh, you'll see a time lapse of that right now and it looks fantastic for being old salvaged rustic wood. I think we did it in a way that's super clean, super organized and made the best use of the materials that we had. Um, since they left, I went down to town and picked up the siding that I got for this. So now that Ruben's here, we're gonna work on it together and get that thrown up. We're gonna take on the roof right now and then we'll probably do the siding a different day, but in the next day or two, that should be all wrapped up and this thing should be looking, mm. That got ungodly hot up there. It's time to get out of the sun. We're gonna do something else this afternoon and then maybe this evening we'll put some trim up there so then the roof's gonna be ready to rock and roll. But I think that looks pretty good for some guys who don't know what they're doing. All right, so it's later in the day. We finally got some clouds, so it's not so crazy hot out here, but um, came back out to try out the trim. Um, I've never done this before, so I'm just gonna go intuitively and do what makes sense. I've been outside for like three minutes just now and I'm already dripping. It's 98 degrees outside. I don't know why I'm out here, but I don't have other projects that I'm working on and I wanna get this. Oh, I wanna get it done. You just saw Ruben and I put up the steel for the roof and the bottom trim around the drip edge. I'm not completing that yet because trim work is just really hard with this stuff. I like, I've, I've never used steel siding before, so it's, it takes a lot of thinking and learning and new tools and a different material and different consequences than working with wood or other materials that I'm more familiar with. So I'm taking a pause on the trim because trim's hard, straight sheets are easier. So I'm gonna work on some straight sheets for the backside of this thing. You don't need to see me cutting them, but I'll, I'll film me installing them. So with that, let's get it, uh, let's get some pieces screwed up back here. So this thing starts to look nice and finished. It's not finished, it's far from finished. I still have all the trim work on the roof like I talked about. And this is actually the only corner trim that I put up just cause you're at that angle. So I was like, mm, still a ways to go, but isn't that cool? I mean, come on. <laughs> all right, so it is hotter than Hades out here. This is just that week of the summer here in Eastern Washington. Um, this whole weekend, we're above 102. Anyways, that has meant that the last couple days of me finishing up the outhouse trim work has been in short spurts when it's cool enough or when I have the energy to and it's, it was too tough to get a decent time lapse. So we're here with the finished product. I'll tell you, it's far from perfect. Working with metal siding trim pieces is tough for me. It's something I've never done before, so I was learning as I went and you know, it shows and that's okay. I'm still pretty excited with how it looks and how it turned out. I'll get some better footage later when it's not so hot and harsh, when I get some better light, but the outhouse is wrapped on the outside. The inside still has some finished work to do, but for right now, this thing is ready to rip and I am buzzing about it. It, it looks great. I'm really excited with how it turned out. Of course, if you come in with a critical professional eye, you're gonna find some stuff, but that's okay.
And with that, I bring this outhouse episode to a close because tomorrow we're starting some serious site prep for the pole barn, which is exciting. It does mean that I have this machine back there, which I have no idea how to use. Uh, Kyle's going to come up and we're going to do some good work on that tomorrow. And with that, we'll catch you in the next episode here at the BBO bus where we're doing some property projects. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it, guys. Stay cool. Bye.